started. Okay, here with Steve Sturdich, just heading into the first round of playoffs against North Dakota. Just talk about what you're expecting from UND. Well, they're probably the, I think the leading score, score is, I should start over again. I believe their team is one of the top in the nation in scoring yeah, goals. They have you know, the top three scorers, I think, in, uh, in the top 10 in the nation. So we have our hands full. They, they have a potent offense. Um, they play hard and uh, it'll be a tough weekend. It's a rematch of uh, last year's first round of playoffs. And I know that that kind of stung for the players and I'm sure for you as a coach, just what are you looking, are you looking to avenge that, you know, series from last year a little bit? Well, obviously, you know, but that's really not, I mean, you focus on what you have at hand right now. And you know, sure it was a tough loss, but um, you know, we want to try and get to that final face off and we have to figure out a way to win two games over there. To do that, you're probably going to need Z to probably be at the top of her game, huh? Yeah, she'll see a lot of shots. I mean, they, they have some uh, great offensive players. I mean, you look at their power play was number one in the league. Um, you know, the, the Lamarro twins have put numbers on. Carvinen's been an amazing player for them. So they have they have some weapons. Weeb, uh, they have quite a few players that can that can score and uh, they shoot from anywhere. So yeah, Susanna will, have, will be busy this weekend, I'm sure. Other than that, uh, what offensive wise, what do you th what do you think you your guys are going to need to be doing that? Some goals against these guys. Well, you know, I, I'm hoping that we can generate something on our power play. They did a pretty good job against us the last time we were there uh, two or three weeks ago, and um, we have to figure out a way to, to solve their kill and try to generate a few more shots on, on our power play and hopefully get a couple. Just talk about that power play. Really came on last weekend, scored a uh, score record five power play goals against St. Cloud State. Montana Bachorik was on the top of her game, led to a WCHA Defensive Player of the Week honor. Just talk about how integral that power play is going to be against North Dakota. Well, um, you know, it was nice to get Montana back after, you know, she missed a game and uh, she does quarterback our power play. And, but uh, everybody got on the board and everybody contributed. And, you know, and I actually, I thought both power plays um, played well. You know, I think we're moving the puck. I think we're executing better than we did three weeks ago. But, uh, you know, North Dakota will put a lot of pressure on us, too. Just talk a little bit more about Z this week. She was announced that she's a nominee for the Patty Kaz Award. Just, again, I know we've asked this a couple times this season, but just sum up what Z means to you guys. Well, we're, we're thrilled for her to be in that final 30 uh, for the Patty Kaz. Um, and I think... If I remember correctly, there's only four goalies nationwide that are on there, so she's one of four, and uh, it's it's a tremendous honor to, to get that far. I hope she can make it to the final ten, um, but nevertheless, she's uh, gives us a chance to win every 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 time she's in net, and I think the biggest thing is she's so consistent. You know, she just consistently is um, a tough goaltender to beat, and uh, you know there are some games where she's amazing and she'll probably have to be amazing uh, this weekend. Mm -hmm.